Hi, I'm Kat and this is my horse Stinky and you're watching a day-by-day -day vlog. Bye! to our favorite burger joint to have supper. We checked our P.O. box on the way here. It's something that we like to do um, around once a week. And we caught mail. <laughs> a huge one. Usually we take the mail home and open it, but sometimes the girls get so impatient when they see it that they want to open it at um, where we're eating. So we're doing a Burger King mail haul. Right, so if he's got the first one. Ooh. I told you. Day by day, please do not read on me. Okay. Okay, so a little girl sent to Gabby this pink <laughs> set. For my lip is on her mare. It's for her lip Dreamer. is on her Yeah, it's a pink bridal. Yes, her color is pink. Halter. Halter. It's a pink halter, halter. and blanket. And what halter. did you get? I got a purple halter and a purple blanket. And what? And this? It's for my tinker. Yeah, and this came all the way from New Zealand, and she does wow. not want us to read the letter on yeah. camp. Thank you! You guys should know that the girls worked out a whole way of how they open fan mail. Who gets to choose what first, and that's why nobody argues when they open it. They have it all planned out before they even open it. And we argued in the car. And they, why. yeah. They already got all the arguing done with. Horse trees! <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, Martin Brand and sent us all of these oranges. horse trees. Oh wow! A huge now horse. I know why they were so heavy. Is that the Amy Fleming on this thing? Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's got it? Amber. Got Amber Marshall. Amber Marshall, Marshall on them, and then they're in a resealable bag. Can't wait for to see if Sabrina loves those. Okay. Put that away. Time for this. Sophia, no one gets first. Here. I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. Just let me. Just let Letter. Her name is Emma. She's 18. This package is from Emma. From She's 18 from the tiny province of Nova Scotia. She started watching our videos a while ago and have been meaning to send this to us for ages. She said that she's certainly outgrown these and with moving out, she wants her prized possessions to go to a good home. I hope you love them. She leases an off-track thoroughbred named Monty and he's 62 point hand high and he's a dark bay. Thank you so okay. much, Emma, for your lovely letter. All right. Did you hear what she said? These were her prized possessions. Okay. We have. I get this. Hey, get serious. When it gets quiet, it gets serious. I have a Oh. Sophia. Yeah. Sophia is like I'm taking. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just wait. We're going to have to do this in a better way because you guys are acting like piranha. Oh my gosh. Look at her. I wanted that one. Oh, you missed. You missed the coolest unboxing. I got this one for my first pick. I know. We this one. Oh, wow. This is a nice one. These are, these are sent to us by Emma yeah. and these are her prized possessions. Her She's bowl. outgrown them. No, this is her and her bowl. Her and her okay, bowl. so what do wait, you guys wait. say? Look at, is this a Nova Scotia flag? Yeah. Sure. And this is a Nova Scotia flag. Let's line them all up. Okay, so are we going to eat or are we going to... Whoa. Oh, here's Oh my her. goodness. Aw, oh, and this is her. Okay. Thank you so much, Emma. Thanks, Emma. I was waving. That was the most embarrassing P.O. box opening ever. And it was real life, you guys. I can't always 
day that my kids do the right thing. They got so overwhelmed when they saw all those schleich that the gloves came off and they just were diving in to get the best ones for themselves. That's what was happening back there. Wasn't that they were ungrateful. They were so excited that they just got serious. <laughs> when it gets quiet, you know something's going down. Good morning, daydreamers. Wait, let's try that again. Good morning, day fam. All right, you guys, which one sounds better to you? It's between those two for sure. Anyway, good morning, guys. It is such a glorious day. Five degrees above zero. That's like spring here. I'm laying the new Schleich places. You guys already saw that last night the girls opened. The fan house. And I love the spotted places. <laughs> and the girls got so many Schleich. And what happened with the Schleich? Uh, we just all dived in. It was silent, and we just all dived in. How many did you get? I got like six. <laughs> right. Somebody sent us 20 schleich. Sent the girls 20 schleich. Gabby, Gabby got, got six. six. Gabby Sophie got six. Got like you guys thousand. think, for all of you guys out there, that, they, that Sophie is the younger sister, the one that gets the crap end of the deal all the time. She is a very powerful negotiator. <laughs> Isn't she? Yeah. And Gabby has a side to her that you guys don't get to see a lot where she doesn't like a lot of drama and she gives in a lot. Huh. Kind of. Not when we're choosing saddles though. If you guys didn't see that in uh, yesterday's video, I'll have a link up here. Uh, Gabby fought me over which saddle that we bought the other day and I won. If you haven't guessed, we are headed to the barn. It's been three days since we saw our mare. I feel guilty because we've been checking out all these other horses and I just want to be with her. I want to spend some time with her. The last time you guys saw her, the last time we saw her, she had so much energy and was like the best. It was the best day ever for us. So I'm hoping to see her today, have the same kind of energy. It'll be so cool. I love these two likes the best. Thank you again. And Sophie is so in love with the Schleich that we got. She is so in love. And Gabby, I played a Schleich and set up the whole room yesterday. They played Schleich all night last night. It was so nice um, of the girl that sent us that. That was just amazing. I wish I remembered her name. I have the worst memory. I think it's Emma though. I thought it was Emma too. Yes, yeah. Hi, pretty girl. You guys, she knows. She knows it's us and she knows we're here. She was turning her head. I'm sorry it's been three days. We didn't forget about you. Are you, who are you visiting with here? Lady, what? This lady, are you making some girlfriends? Yeah? Lady, are you making good to our girl? You gonna come with us? Come on. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. I guess we missed a lot of action the last couple of days that we've been missing from the barn. People have been falling off their horses. One of the horses flipped, reared up and flipped completely upside down, backwards on top of um, its owner. Oh my gosh. Another, another girl fell off this morning. Both had injuries. Crazy, right? I'm hoping that's not a sign for today. Are you feeling good, Sabrina? Are you feeling good, princess? Aww, she's not a very affectionate mare, but she's so sweet, huh? Yep, sometimes. Usually, usually she's such a sweet girl. Oh, she looks tired. She looks like she's dozing. Are you sleeping? You need a good brush. You'll like that, huh? Door. There's our girl. So we've created a little problem with our horse. And the problem is, is that every time she pees in the stall, we have to come running to 
clean it up because they don't want pee in the stalls because it's right now whenever we put her in the stall she pees because then she knows we come running whoa that was yeah it's time to to lunge this girl we might not be riding today she's scared because the snow is falling off the roof you're okay, Sabrina. It's okay, honey. We might not ride just because of what's been happening at the barn lately. I'm not about to try out. Can I free lunch? You're now? okay, yep. It's so warm outside that the snow is pouring off the ceiling, off the roof. It's just making so much noise. There's no way we can ride, and I'm okay with that, but it makes me wonder. Do you think that's why horses have been spooking and hurting their riders and hurting themselves? It's okay. It's okay, Sabrina. It's okay. It's just snow. Watch out. There. It's all gone. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Yes, girl. You're okay, sweet girl. It's just falling everywhere on the, on the roof. Martin Mills sent us some horse treats and we're going to use them on Sabrina. And we usually use this brand anyways. We buy it at Green Hawk. So this is a new flavor we're going to try and it's uh, orange flavor bits. Orange flavor bits. Good girl. She's like, I love them. These are their special moment treats. And our mare loves them. Are they pretty good, Sabrina? She's feeling nice and relaxed now. trying out horses the last couple of days like the fun and the excitement of getting a new horse but then when we're here today and she's like super scared of all the snow falling and the responsibility kind of hits you and like it's hard work having a horse just one horse is so hard it is like the hardest thing we've ever done <laughs> for day the last couple of days about the horses that we saw we weighed the pros and the cons we made like a massive list and in the end I feel like we'll know we went to see Sabrina I knew the minute I saw her even before anything else and I know that might not be the right way but I knew and then she came the next day we I just I'm not getting like that feeling from these two horses. I don't want to disappoint anybody, you know, the people that are selling. I feel bad for them, you know, they showed us their horse and we took their time from them and and I don't want to disappoint them, but I want to hold out. I th I think there's a horse between the skill level of both of those horses that's exactly right for us. And who knows if if the gelding is still available, you know, after we see a couple more horses, maybe we'll go back to him. If he's not, then that will be our loss. But I mean, we still need to talk about it with Fiona and maybe she'll be able to change some of the information and make me feel differently. But at this point, I feel like we need to keep looking. I feel like we need to look for another horse and I don't know, but I would love to know if any of you guys understand where I'm coming from because I don't know if this is even a thing. Like, are you supposed to just buy a horse that is a good fit or are you supposed to hold out to get the horse that you think is the best fit? If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and 
be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run Standing on your own knees? It's a beautiful world out there and Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there Frightening it's something you don't know. You need a little enlightening. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.